At a time when lower and middle income families' wages are stagnant, overtime pay is especially important because it guarantees extra income. 50% more pay, time and a half, for every hour put in beyond a 40 hour work week. Just as importantly, overtime gives employers an incentive to hire more workers rather than have current employees work more than 40 hours because the extra hours cost more. When many Americans are massively overworked, while many others are underemployed, overtime can solve both problems. Regulations governing who's eligible for overtime haven't been adjusted for inflation in decades, meaning that millions of salaried workers who should be collecting overtime are not. 40 years ago, more than 65% of salaried workers earned time and a half pay for overtime. Now, just 11% do. You're salaried and earn more than $23,600, you don't qualify. But if we had the same overtime threshold we had 40 years ago, everyone now earning $69,000 a year or less would be eligible to collect overtime pay. That would add more than 10 million workers to the number now eligible, substantially increasing middle class incomes and decreasing the number of unemployed workers. Some worry that updating the overtime threshold would cripple businesses with additional costs. But employers who want to avoid paying overtime have an easy out. They can hire additional workers to do the extra work at the standard wage. Or they can increase the hours of part-time workers. It's within the power of my old department, the Department of Labor, to make this change and within the power of the president to order it. Last March, the president asked the Labor Department to update overtime regulations. Now, you can bet that many businesses will claim an updated threshold will destroy the economy and put them out of business. That's nonsense. Without a reasonable overtime threshold, we cannot build a thriving middle class and a growing economy. It's essential you make your voice heard, please. Contact the White House and the Department of Labor now, saying the threshold for overtime pay must be raised substantially.